Mommy, you're not a person where we say when we step in here, your smile will light up the place. Now tell me how you take the manage to stay this positive and this joyful. Uh, hard work oh, and a uh, good, uh, uh, good uh, thinking. You have to always think positive without thinking bad because na good positive um, na positive thinking that carry you to the greater point this job now na when i was 6 6 years old and the way the na mama and baba the way they pass education to us in those days, you teach your children what you do, and that is how I learned when my mama died and no money to go to school. So now this job now my parents they do and my baba they do textile, leather work. Uh, what else again? Basket, embroidery, and all this work, now I did them, they do. So, now this work I learned from them. First of all, the challenge is the Nepa now. <laughs> First of all, Nepa, then every time that uh, you want to go forward, so there is always all this obstacle of saying, oh, you are a female, you cannot do this. You are limited. But now God, they help us small, small, small. Now God that make us get to this stage today. Person, like you just talked, we know go school. How you take manage? I give us a step on how you take manage to break through. Na patient too. <laughs> na patient. Um, anything that they do, na prayer that I add to it. That God, do, you see me now. Na you, na you bring me to this world. Na you go show me the way. But hard work, hard work. Na number one. No matter what you know how to do, you have to be hard work and have patience. And also, like um, endurance, uh -huh. you have to have that. And always think positive, all the time. Now, if you actually link this place as a hope to see any artwork you are actually seeing inside Wibudu, Nigeria, now tell us how many artists work you get for year. The artists we they work with here now five thousand. Wow. Then the work that they here now for today is twenty five thousand pieces. We they have a six storage that we they keep at work. That at work, each one is full in the not smaller room, big storage that we change every time. A bead work, now me alone do those bead work there. Okay. And the bead, the bead work, the Chibo girls, and the slow market. Okay. This one that they here now, now me and my brother, now they do them together. And a pattern of fabric that we put together. Before telephone come, now the way we talk to our people in those days. That is the way we put all the pattern. So people can remember that this is the way that they talk in those days. So 
like when you like something sweet, oh, that love is the sweet, oh, but love also not the bond handle. So you see the light and the dark. So the pattern represents telephone. Person way to interact with over 5,000 artists, I, like you don't actually mention. A lot of artists they complain, say, for instance, we would do Nigeria. Nigerians know they appreciate artwork. Now, you actually agree with that? Uh, before, before, Nigeria, no buy artwork because now, after you belly food, you want to buy artwork. But now, now your age, um, age of uh, 60 down, now they, they buy small, small. Now, those people who went abroad to study, so they appreciate art more than the people who are Melonia here, who just think art is for people who are defiant. But no be so, one artwork, if they go for $3 million, wow. uh, from Unje Dika, it's on the internet. This girl is not up to 40 years old and the artwork will go for over three million dollars, not be Nigeria, 1.2 billion Nigeria money. So the art is not just ordinary art anymore. Nah, business, now. Ah, art means life. Life is art and art is life. Because without art, you know the biggest, the greatest artist in the world, now God now. Mm -hmm. Now God created you and created me. So these artists, when they want to create work, somebody like me, I work with spirit. And that spirit that, that work with me, we say, put this here, put that there. You see, this one, after you, they look up now, you, they see fish. You, they see fish, you, they see faces. You, they see turtle. So now that spirit is telling me, put all this. After I finish, I will now be saying, oh, this is where I stop. Now this spirit is the driver that is working with you when you are working. So where the driver stop is where you stop. So art is life and life is art. Each artwork represents the voice of the artist. There is always job in Nigeria. Look at all what I'm wearing. These are now plastic throw inside the water for the sea here. Oh, These are all plastic. plastic. Yes. The plastic, you the, the bottle plastic, the one, the, the, uh, uh, the one with the drink. So now the one we put color and make into all this. Then we they make them into bag too. Coconut from Badagri. I will show you some of the bag that we made out of the shell. See recycle of the cow outside. Uh, from spare parts, spoon, all these things that mechanically they throw away. Now they we put together and make animal, make bone, make faces. Nigeria have so many resources that we they make money, but they don't know. They we say, ah, this one, hey, Mika, oh, eh, I will not do this. But I want to let people know that Nigeria, you can become anything, especially Lagos. Whatever you can do, have a focus and do it well. Money day for everything. Lagos is the home of Aje, Aje. And you see the whole Nigeria, they move to Lagos because it's where you can make life. But the whole Nigeria, there is nothing you cannot turn into money. Agreed? Even the can, you will see the can on the walk, the, co the cover of the milk can. I will show you on the walk there, uh, na can milk they use to see to make necklace. So there is so much sun dust, you will see the work they upset for sun dust. So art is not just art, art is life, and art can bring you money. Do it well and you will make your good money. <laughs> Now, last year, something they actually trained for inside the Nigerian news media from an international report where it talks to a lot of Nigerians, they enter Libya 
and for instance Libya, they don't want them to slave. Now we don't see a report of a lot of girl, young girls being sent to Italy and some other countries for prostitution. Now you know person where do I actually go to these countries to lecture these girls. Now tell us about the experience and how you take on about being one of the representatives to go lecture them. Well, uh, now the characters from Chrome, they look for internet and say, ah, Nigeria women, they walk, they never use their body, but they use their hand. That is how they check and they see my name and they send for me. When they send for me, when I get to Torino, 5,000 Nigerian women are doing prostitutes in one town alone. So we start from teaching them how to make pattern. We went with cultural, we went with filmmaker, how we make beads. Like all these beads, how we make them from clay, how we make them from plastic. So they now, they, they buy them computer. They now use computer to design some of these design and send it to Manchester, Hollandis, that is how we change about 3,000 of those people to be using their hand to work. So that certificate is there from the president of the Italian government. When you see our people who are going to do a prostitute for all these places, a lot of them, they don't know that na trick, they will trick them because Nigeria is better than Mali. I was crying when I see the people from Mali. Just, they just put Lylon on the ground for them. They have 400, they are deporting now to come to Nigeria. But they have to make life better. Let them use their hand to work. Eh? Because anything you use your hand to do, you work, you suffer for it. You will pray that this hand I they use for work, oh, this don't deceive me. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, anything, turn it yet. But if you wait for government to give you a job, there is no job for everybody. Even though if you like, you read 10 university. If you don't know how to use handwork, it's very difficult. Now talking about university, mm -hmm. you don't come outside talk, say, you don't even go to school. Right. But now, you are about to receive a doctorate degree. Yeah. Tell us about this Where well, they put the whole 54 African country on the internet and they are looking for people who are qualified for this doctorate degree. They do this every four, four years in Cape Town. So they narrow it down to 10 and they narrow it to one and I still come number one. I don't know the person who put my name. I don't know. Now nah, internet, they look for my name. So when they call and say, come and get doctorate degree, my husband said, now for one I don't mind them more. They want to go take you to kill for South Africa. I said, no, let's listen. So somebody who go there, who has been to that university said, ah, let me call there and ask, why do you want this woman? Who did woman not go to school? Why do you want to give her a doctorate degree? They now said, no, this is for creativity, for the handwork he has done that she come number one. So it is a great achievement for my country, Nigeria, to have them picked as number one in art, as number one in Africa, as number one in the creativity industry. So I have to thank them. The award is uh, the doctorate degree. They pick other white three from the other European countries, not only European, the whole world. So I'm going to be competing with them. My future plan, I just opened a center in Lagos now. For it's going to be this center is going to be for area girls. And the people who are going to be helping me is Wasobia, who is going to be announcing it that anybody who thinks is living in the slum and he has no future, he should just come out and register with us so we can teach them how to use hand to work. Because me, I start from nothing to and not my hand work that helped me. So that one is in Paduri. Then we are going to be teaching the both area boys and area girls there. But the other side is the people who they come to do research for Nigeria. 
we also have planned for them to come and write a good book about Nigerian textile so people can read more about our textile. Just like this university who come today now, I was there in 1995 to teach in Berkeley and they trace some of the teaching that I do there with pattern. And that is how, so most of the uh, scholar, we like more of them. And you know, you people, you they try by bringing all this, uh, all this, so you go to come and learn more about our culture. We ourselves, we have to educate more. We have to educate our people to let them know na hard work or na creativity or no be uh, crazy that make somebody they draw faces or using pangulu to do artwork. <laughs> Before we have Ariwa in Kaduna, we have uh, Martin, we have Dan Weaver, we have... But now they are all closing down because they are bringing imported fabric from China. They are bringing all this from overseas, so they don't like made in Nigeria anymore. Make you tell them, now you people who are the media, who will help us to let them know that made in your country is organic. We are using beeswax to make Adire now. We are putting Adire on silk. So you can sit in your country and use silk, 100% silk, 100% cotton that is woven on the loom. And feel, because Nigeria is very hot, but when you use 100% cotton, so it absorbs all the sweat and you will not have skin rash, no skin cancer. So make the day patronize also because we don't have any other job other than the textile. <laughs> My message for all of you who they watch us now, we thank Vasobia for showcasing us. So, anything you know you are good at, make you they do up well, well. If you know na cooking, your mama they do, and you cannot get a job, just open your little kitchen, put it behind your car or kada, and go and to the offices and distribute. Anything you do that you know your heart is, just follow your heart. Do it well, the sky is your beginning. Don't say because, oh, there is no money. Anything you know you are good at, just do it and follow your heart. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.